Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. It is such a dark, rainy day today. So I thought I'd sit down and share with you my current favourite new additions to my fragrance collection. I've added quite a lot of fragrances to my collection over the past month or so, so I wanted to take you through my absolute like fragrance loves. I absolutely adore these fragrances, so I'm so excited to share them with you. As always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit the bell, come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok and all of the good stuff, and let's get into it. First up, I have Amouage Lyric Woman. This is a fragrance that makes me feel so in touch with my dark feminine energy. Honestly, this is the most beautiful deep dark red rose and when I wear this, I honestly just feel like I should be wearing a black silk dress and wearing a dark red lip and I should be performing some sort of magical ritual like making helpless men fall in love with me or something. That is where this fragrance takes me. It is, like I said, it's a deep red rose. It's got this sort of fresh spiciness to it, but it is a deep fragrance. It has a creamy quality. It is woody. It even has this sort of slight soapiness to it. It's just incredible. It's not an overly feminine rose, it's just that it makes me feel extremely feminine when I wear it and it's one of those fragrances where I could list all of the notes for you because it is a really complex fragrance and it contains a lot of notes but it just wouldn't do the fragrance justice. It is so Ah, oh, it's just so luxurious and so elevated. This was my Christmas day scent. That is how special this fragrance is. I take my Christmas day scent very, very seriously. Actually, last year, well, the year before last, technically, I wore Amouage Crimson Rocks, which very much smells like Christmas to me. This doesn't smell like Christmas particularly, but it's just an amazing one for winter. Actually, I'm gonna say that I will wear this all year round. I think that this could be a little bit of a signature scent if you enjoy deep fragrances. Next up I have Patiala. This is Tamine's newest launch and this was sent to me from Twisted Lily actually. You guys know I have my Twisted Lily discount code. I actually have discount codes for a few of the brands that I'm going to mention today so instead of just mentioning them throughout the video I'll link them in the description box along with links to all of the fragrances that I'm mentioning. But this is such a unique fragrance. It is a sweet, airy rose fragrance, but the rose is really dry. It's got aldehydes in it, which gives it this sort of soapy feel. And it's musky, very musky, and it's got some amber in the base, which gives it some depth. This honestly smells to me like, imagine if, Gentle Fluidity Gold and Baccarat had a baby and then you made it into a bar of soap. I know that's very, very niche, but that is what this smells like to me. I'm not usually a massive fan of aldehydes and I like them in this fragrance. It's not too much. It just kind of gives the fragrance that sort of soapy feel. However, I wasn't sure how to feel about this when I first tried it. It took me a good few times wearing it to really enjoy it. At first I was just like, I can't decide whether I like this or not. It is so unique. Um, I have decided that I do really like this. However, I do need to be in the mood to wear this fragrance. It's definitely a try before you buy, but Twisted Lily do samples. I like to just order like a load of samples of different fragrances and try a load out. But yeah, this is definitely one to try if you like sweet, airy rose fragrances. But like I said, this has got that sort of soapy quality, which is really nice. Next up is an exquisite fragrance that I've been wearing whenever I am like really really dressed up. It just makes me feel so special and it is Mise en Serre Golden Oud. This has quickly become one of my absolute favourite Oud fragrances ever. I love this so much. It is the most beautiful clean oud with Bulgarian rose. It has a very sort of dry feeling to it. it I also get this sort of suede-like feeling from this and it's got a slight smokiness to it as well. It is absolutely 
beautiful. I feel so luxurious when I wear this. It's a definite one to wear when you're dressed up and it's one that I've mentioned this on Instagram. I've included it in a reel but I haven't mentioned it on my channel yet. I was chatting to one of you guys in my DMs before Christmas. You were asking me what my favourite rose fragrances were and I literally gave this girl, honestly I felt bad for her, I gave her a list of about 10 and I was like, I don't think that's helpful and she was like, no that's really helpful. So I think she got like loads of samples and she went with Mise en Cert Golden Oud and Nishane Favonius for Oud fragrances for her and her sister and I was like, those are some exquisite fragrances and bless you, I don't know if you're watching this video but I really appreciated your message. Like. She sent me a message after Christmas just saying that they love their fragrances and I just love getting messages like that from you guys. It fills my heart with warmth. Like I love it when you get fragrances on my recommendation and you just love them so much. But yeah, this is in incredible you absolutely need to try it if you love rose and oud combinations it really is top tier next up we have commodity gold this is such an underrated vanilla fragrance it's a gorgeous warm ambery spiced vanilla and it is so decadent and so luxurious and so comforting at the same time I love this so, so much. It's such a creamy, rich vanilla, and it's got nutmeg and saffron, which just really warm the fragrance up. It's got this, like I said, an ambery feel. It's got a woody feel to it as well, and there's a little bit of patchouli in the base, but not too much. It just sort of grounds the fragrance, and definitely check this out if you are into vanilla. It is beautiful. I am not sure if I just call this gold, but it's gold plus. There's three different strengths of this and gold plus is where it's at. The other two are really nice as well, but this is just next level. Next up I have Imperial Peacock. This is from Alexandra J and this is from their Art Nouveau collection. The bottles in this collection are absolutely stunning. That is a work of art. I love it so much. This fragrance smells like dreams. It is so ethereal, it's so sweet and airy and a bit fruity. It's got some rhubarb in the top, which is a really interesting kind of fruity note. I really like that. It's got almond, it's got heliotrope, it's got black vanilla, there's some cinnamon in there and then there's sugar and musk in the base. It's so addictive. I think that you could wear this all year round. I will definitely wear this all year round. Could be a signature scent and I think the name is perfect. I really do feel like I'm peacocking when I wear this scent. I do feel like I am the best smelling person in a room when I wear this. It is truly gorgeous. It kind of sits in the same sort of fragrance family as Baccarat and as Bond Number no. 9, Greenwich Village, that sort of vibe. If you like those fragrances, I definitely think that you'll enjoy this. It is beautiful. Next up guys, I'm so excited about this. I ran out of my 30ml bottle of La Perla Possibilities. You knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I wear that fragrance constantly so I have the 120ml bottle now and this is just, it looks like an actual love potion. It smells like a love potion. You have heard me talk about this fragrance endlessly and I'm not planning on stopping anytime soon. I absolutely love it. It is, I'm going to say this is my favourite fragrance. It is the fragrance that when I wear it, it just feels like me. And uh, it's so feminine. It's so sensual. It's really sexy. It's got this sort of femme fatale vibe about it. It's a gorgeous mix of florals. There's rose, there's petalia, there's orange blossom. It's got this beautiful vanilla running through it. There's some woodiness to it and a pink pepper note, which I've noticed is a lot more prominent when the weather's cooler. Like if it's 10 degrees and below, I do find that pepper note to be more sort of amped up, which I don't personally mind, but just be aware of that. I definitely found when I was wearing this in the summer that the pepper note wasn't as prominent and the florals really obviously bloom when the weather's warm. So it's amazing in the summer as well, but it's got that depth, which means it wears amazingly in the winter as well. And it's just such a special fragrance. 
I love this so much. This is like my ultimate secret weapon. Next up, I have Fleur Somebody Wood. I'm so happy that this brand is now available in the UK. They're exclusive to Selfridges and I've got a few from them. I either have done or I'm going to do like a review of a few of their fragrances over on my TikTok. If the weather gets better, I don't like filming TikToks when the weather's not great or in like artificial light. There's something about that that just, it jars me. It's okay on YouTube because my lights sort of look better when I'm using my big girl camera, but anyway. I love Somebody Wood for this time of year. It's a gorgeous sandalwood and cedarwood with a sort of, it's got saffron, it's got some lemon and bergamot in the opening which just sort of lifts the fragrance without giving it a citrusy feel. The saffron elevates the fragrance and it's got a sort of freshness to it. There's a slight vanilla sweetness to this fragrance. It's got an ambery feel and the dry down is kind of musky which is a bit sexy. This has this sort of, I don't know if it's the cedar wood kind of mixed with the saffron but it's giving me a molecular feel kind of like Molecule or one vibes, but with a lot more going on, and I just think it's such a cool girl fragrance. I feel very cool when I wear this, and it's one that you could wear at daytime or nighttime. It's understated, but it's really interesting, and I really, really like it. I also love the packaging of these fragrances. Next up, I have an underrated gem. I've never heard anybody speaking about this fragrance, and I discovered it, and I was like. I love, it is J-U-S or Ju, I'm not sure <laughs> which one it is, but it's called Sopoudrage and ah, this fragrance is a gorgeous, juicy, fruity rose fragrance. It's got some powdery iris in there, it's got some like a cashmere wood sort of feel and it's got hedion in, but honestly guys, this smells to me like imagine if Delina and Glossier You had a baby. Like the fruity, musky rosiness of Delina with the powdery iris in Glossier You. Mix those two together, you have this fragrance and it is absolutely gorgeous. I tried loads from this brand. I had like a full discovery kit. Or did I? No, I think I just had like a load of samples and this was by far my favorite of all of them. They all come in like a different color bottle and I will say, I wouldn't have picked up this bottle to try it just based on the way it looks. I don't love the green, I'm gonna be honest. I like some of their other colors better but the actual fragrance inside this is incredible. You could wear it all year round and it is just so good. Next up from Soradora, I have Orchidee Rouge. Now I always see people speaking about Mandol from Soradora, which is like a cherry fragrance, but my personal favourite is Orchidee Rouge. Do not sleep on this fragrance guys, it is a gorgeous, sweet, vanilla-y, boozy rum sort of fragrance. It's got some florals in there. It's just really like sensual and sexy. It's got this sort of effervescent, almost fizzy quality in the opening, but it only lasts for about 10 minutes. And then it just sort of mellows out. And as this wears on your skin, it just becomes like a bit sweeter and ah, oh, it's so gorgeous. It doesn't project massively, which I actually find makes it very wearable for day to day. If you like those sort of boozy fragrances but you want something that is more wearable, try this because it is so great. Also, I love layering this with the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. That scent combo is fire. Next up I have one from A Nuit Nomad and it is Nothing But Sea and Sky. This is a brand that you absolutely need to check out if you haven't already. They have a discovery set. They have so many amazing fragrances. Nothing But Sea and Sky to me it's just like the ultimate cool girl scent. It's such a clean girl scent as well. It is a beautiful milky sandalwood. It's musky. It's got some bergamot in there. It's very, very cocooning and comforting. And this is inspired by the beach in the wintertime. And you guys know 
I live near the beach and I go for beachy walks all the time and I can confirm this does remind me of the beach but like at any time of year it smells beachy but it's not summery which I really really like and for me sometimes sandalwood has like this sort of coconutty quality and for me I get that in this fragrance it has this sort of coconutty milky musky sandalwood thing going on which I absolutely love without it smelling summery so I could wear this all year round which I'm so happy about it's very minimal it kind of sits quite close to you it just creates a nice little bubble around you it is stunning I really really love it if you're into your minimal like clean girl scents and if you like sandalwood this is definitely one to try next up from the same brand I have an absolute showstopper that you need to try if you enjoy vanilla fragrances this is ambre Kanjar and it is wow it is such a deep warm resinous vanilla fragrance it is stunning if you enjoy fragrances like ivory root from Zerzhov definitely try this it's in the same sort of realm it is just this beautiful oh I would wear this honestly for like nights out or just any time in winter when I want to really sort of show out and dress up and be noticed. This is a notice me type of fragrance. It is so luxurious. It's got labdanum, sandalwood, benzoin, patchouli. It's got like some plum and mandarin though which gives it this slight sort of fruity feel it's got a little bit of sweetness running through the fragrance and I don't know why but I get this sort of chocolatey vibe from this as well it's so incredible you need to try this like I said I have discount codes for quite a few of these brands and I link all of the fragrances along with any codes that I have in the description box below for you guys I hope you enjoyed this video as always let me know what your favorite fragrance is at the moment I would love to know I love getting like inspiration from you guys but give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it as always and hopefully I'll catch you in my next one bye guys